The definition of loathing is a feeling of intense dislike or disgust or hatred. And in today's video, I'm going to depict each of those features in the recent phenomena in the YouTube culture as being the vegan teacher. But I must first and foremost say, hey yo, I'm toasted. Uh, ideas. And here I talk about things that interest me. I like to think about things critically and have my own opinion because then I'm not a sheep to any specific person or thing. I cover topics from the left to topics from the right, while also not forgetting about the topics in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Now, to start this off, for the uninitiated, I shall give an introduction. That vegan teacher is someone who seeks attention by saying the most outlandish, nonsensical statements ever. She doesn't just think outside the box, but rather she thinks about what's underneath the box, finding stupid arguments for how the wood of that box was probably made with tree oil from a tree that once housed an ant, a singular ant, that is, and due to how that tree housed that ant, that oil probably has remnants of that ant, and therefore that oil is no longer vegan. But, as for the bankrolling portion of the title, something that I have noted is how there is another phenomena on YouTube where certain YouTubers will feed into that hate that they receive, cause, and I might be wrong here, but it's either that they believe in the hate themselves, and they agree, ergo self-loathing, or that they play into that cause it pays their bills, and maybe I'm wrong, but that that, that can be for you to judge in the comments. Now, to continue on, she always and always goes on and on with one specific type of subject, that being veganism, because otherwise is cruelty to animals. But I want to take a slight turn in this and go over the evolution of things, not, not on the whole grandeur scale of it, of course, but just on a molecular type scale, with one of her re recent shorts, in which she claims that vegans are better than God. Vegans are better than God. It's just a fact. Look, we have two hands, right? We can choose what to do. Three times a day, we can choose compassion or cruelty. Three times a day, we choose not to eat animals, not to steal from them. We choose to be kind. Meanwhile, God is doing fuck all, absolutely nothing. We don't know if God is drunk, stoned, asleep, watching and eating popcorn and thinking it's hilarious with all of the wars that go on, or maybe God is just dead. We don't know. But the good news is that we have two hands in which to do good in the world. So every day you can choose to be kind and compassionate instead of cruel. Look, if we had designed the planet, we would never have designed lions who eat zebras. That's just mean. They don't even want to hurt them, but they have no choice. But we have moral agency. We can choose kindness. So we choose tofu, beans, lentils, and rice, and you too can be nice. First things first, I would like to point out that if we as regular people were to have created Earth, everything would be completely and utterly fridged. Because the mass general of people don't even understand the basics of how life and how plant cycles work. If we did not have meat eaters in to, to eat other prey, then could you tell me where those plants in that surrounding area would get nutrients like carbon, nitrogen, and phosphorus, all of which come from carcasses? Could you tell me where the plants are going to get those? And then I also have to ask, what is your plan for like animals like pigs? Do you get rid of them too? D did, you, did you know that mother pigs will eat their babies if they're hungry? Is it somehow not cruel for a piglet's own mother to eat it? Pigs are even known for eating people. So do we get rid of them as well because you want to get rid of lions for essentially doing the same thing? What about elephants? They are well known for crushing people and animals likewise through their sheer weight. And last I checked, your last vision on Earth being a foot is a cruel way to go out. It's the same thing as being curb stomped. So 
is the plan to basically make planet Earth extinct of all life? Because with the statement of, if we designed a planet, we would never have designed lions because they eat zebras, and that's just mean. We would be killing off almost every animal on planet Earth. Did you know that zebras, after a dominant male wins the fight against another male, they will kill the foals that a pregnant zebra births to eliminate any trace of its pre predecessor? Zebras are even known to kill lions, go figure. They'll even kick their own kind until they die. But no, I like zebra, therefore zebra lives. Did you also know that some dominant zebra males will aggressively mate with a pregnant female in order to force that female to miscarry? But no, that's not cruel because I like zebra, right? Like, she calls God worse than vegans yet her figurative world is complete anarchy. And in her world, humans would have died off a long time ago because humans are historically known for eating meat due to its energy properties. In fact, she herself wouldn't exist if her world existed. Anywho, my thoughts on why she's hyperbolic or at the worst an extremist in the vegan world is because she doesn't like herself as a human due to what that means in the landscape of humanity's history with eating meat. And when she speaks hyperbolic or to the extremes, then her thoughts about herself are validated by everyone hating on her. And moreover, validated by her hating other humans who for eating meat or disagreeing with her. And what does all of that hate or controversy return to in the world of the internet? Money, fame, being heard louder than those without that fame, or in better terms, her being self-loathing of herself for being human and then her hating other humans for disagreeing with her is completely bankrolling her life. She lives in a perpetual state of disgust in humans because it's that state of disgust that pays her bills and gets her through life. Like, uh, like imagine getting paid to hate yourself. But I think that that's just about enough for this video on how self-loathing has gone bankrolling in the life of that vegan teacher. If you disagree with my take, then please let yourself be known down below. But if you agree, then please do no different because every voice is welcome. But while you're down there, please hit that subscribe button to become a fellow bread bag and also hit that like button so that people who may not have seen this video can see this video and so that they might join the bread box as well because once again we need more bread but before you go i hope to see you in the next video and until then have a good one